Hi, welcome back to another People I Meet. If I look totally rosy cheeked and tired, it's because I am. I just took Bella out to get groomed and the groomer was awesome. Her name was Kristen. I'm gonna show this to you. Yeah, I'm using her real name because she was awesome. And um, we were talking about, you know, just whatever while we were waiting and, and I mentioned that I have MS and fibromyalgia because she didn't ask, but you know what, I'm, I'm in a wheelchair, so I'll throw it out there. And she was like, yeah, that's what they thought my ex had, but the, now they think it might be Lou Gehrig's. And I was like, oh gosh, please tell me I don't have Lou Gehrig's. Like, but if I did, it'd probably be fibro and Lou Gehrig's because good hell, what is up with my body? I remember how I said the hysterectomy didn't work and I still have whatever it is. Yeah, it turns out I still have endometriosis. And so they put a rod in, uh, you know, birth control rod. Check out this bad boy. Yeah. The bruise will eventually go away, but I'm really tired. And I was like, you know, and then she was like, yeah, um, I said, that's not why you guys broke up, is it? And she said, no, we're still good friends. And I was like, oh, that's good. Although I've heard that if you are still friends with an ex, it's because either you were never in love or you still are. And she was like, see, I have this whole friendship as a foundation thing first. And I was like, yeah, I want to do that, but men don't really do that. And she was like, yeah, I don't, I don't have that problem. I would sign up for shock therapy to go gay. I really would. If it could make you straight, it could make you gay. Sign me the F up, right? Except for a couple problems with that. It doesn't.